Well, NASA says smoke coming off the wildfires in Australia has traveled around the globe and back to skies over eastern Australia. It says the unprecedented conditions combined with historic dryness have also led to an unusually large number of fire induced thunderstorms. The smoke has also had a dramatic impact on New Zealand, causing severe air quality issues. So what are the lingering effects on our ecosystem? A professor at CU Denver is providing some insight for us tonight. Tori Mason joins us live in Denver. So Tori, what did he share with you? Well, you know, Karen, he told me the fires in Australia are indicative of what fires will look like in many parts of the world. So he looks at how the ecosystems there adapt to fire to help better prepare for fires in the future. While Colorado firefighters battle flames in Australia, a professor back home is fighting fires in our future. We need to just change how we think about fire. Dr. Brian Buma at CU Denver looks at the resilience of ecological systems and their ability to bounce back after fires. He says what's happening down under can be applied a mile high. We have a very high population living in very close contact with areas that historically burned quite frequently. We are in exactly the same case. It just hasn't gotten as bad yet. Still, Colorado has seen its share of devastation. The Hayman fire, the Black Forest fire, the High Park fire. Dry weather and high winds exacerbated the Hayman fire. But Buma looks at factors we can control, like overgrown forests through prescribed burns. The Hayman fire, that is a fire in an area which historically would have burned more frequently and didn't. And so you had um, a much more intense fire as a result. As more people move to fire-prone places like Colorado, Buma says it's critical we learn how to live with fire. If you're going to put a house in the middle of the woods, you better think about how those woods are going to burn. And it's a great opportunity to link with local scientists, to link with local fire managers and local foresters. We need to plan for the next fire rather than plan to respond to the next fire. Now, to make matters worse, the hotter, drier weather due to climate change is actually making fires more frequent, more intense. Our individual efforts to be more green can help stop that warming trend. We're live in Denver. Tori Mason covering Colorado first. Tori, thank you.